Today we will discuss about Moxie Get, which contain moxifloxacin. Description Moxifloxacin is a new oral 8 methoxifluoroquinolone antibacterial agent. Chemically, the molecular formula is C21H24FN304HCl. Qualitative and quantitative composition Moxifloxacin is available for oral administration as each film coated tablet contains moxifloxacin 400 mg as hydrochloride and moxifloxacin intravenous solution which contain 400 mg per 250 ml solution clinical pharmacology mechanism of action moxifloxacin is bactericidal against a range of gram positive and gram negative organisms such activity arises through the inhibition of DNA gyrase, topoisomerase 2, and topoisomerase 4, which bacteria require for DNA replication, transcription, repair, and recombination. Moxifloxacin contains the C8-methoxy moiety that augments its antibacterial activity and reduces the possibility of gram-positive mutations. Because the 8-fluoroquinolones use a different mechanism of action than do the aminoglycosides, beta-lactams, macrolides, or tetracyclines, there has been no cross-resistance between the quinolones and these antimicrobial agents. Microbiology Aerobic gram-positive microorganisms Staphylococcus aureus, methicillin-susceptible, streptococcus pneumoniae, streptococcus pyogenes, streptococcus epidermides, methicillin-susceptible, streptococcus anginosus. Aerobic gram-negative microorganisms Haemophilus influenza, Haemophilus parainfluenza, Klebsiella pneumoniae, Maraxilla catarrhalis, Enterobacter cloacae, Escherichia coli, Proteus mirabilis Anaerobic microorganisms Fusobacterium species, Prevotila species, Peptostreptococcus species Others Chlamydia pneumoniae, Mycoplasma pneumoniae Legionella pneumophila, Mycobacterium leprae. Pharmacokinetics Moxifloxacin is readily absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract with an absolute bioavailability of about 90%. It is widely distributed throughout the body tissues and is approximately 50% bound to plasma proteins. Moxifloxacin has an elimination half life of approximately 12 hours, allowing once daily dosing. It is metabolized principally via sulfate and glucuronide conjugation. About 45% of the drug is excreted in the urine and the feces as unchanged drug. The sulfate conjugate is excreted primarily in the feces and the glucuronide exclusively in the urine. Therapeutic Indications Moxifloxacin tablets are indicated for the treatment of following bacterial infections. Acute Bacterial Sinusitis Acute bacterial exacerbation of chronic bronchitis. Community acquired pneumonia. Complicated skin and skin structure infections. Dosage and administration. The usual adult dose of moxifloxacin is 400 mg once every 24 hours. The duration of therapy depends on the type and severity of infection as described in the table below. For acute bacterial sinusitis 400 mg daily dose for 7 days. For acute bacterial exacerbation of chronic bronchitis 400 mg daily dose for 5 to 10 days. For community acquired pneumonia 400 mg daily dose for 10 days. For complicated skin and skin structure infections 400 mg daily dose for 7 to 21 days. Adverse reactions. Moxifloxacin was usually well tolerated. Most adverse reactions were mild to moderate. Common Headache, dizziness, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, QT prolongation in patients with hypokalemia, increase in transaminases, superinfection due to resistant bacteria and diarrhea. Uncommon Anorexia, constipation, dyspepsia, flatulence, gastritis, increase amylase, QT prolongation, palpitations, tachycardia, arterial fibrillation, angina pectoris, dyspnea, hepatic impairment, increased bilirubin, 
increase gamma glutaryl transferase, increase in blood alkaline phosphatase, pruritus, rash, urticaria, dry skin, arthralgia, myalgia, dehydration, visual disturbances, anxiety reactions, psychomotor hyperactivity, taste disorder, paresthesia slash dysesthesia, confusion, disorientation. Hyperlipidemia, allergic reaction, anemia, leucopenia, neutropenia, and thrombocytopenia. Rare. Dysphagia, pseudomembranous colitis, ventricular tachyarrhythmias, syncope, hypertension, hypotension, vasodilatation, tinnitus, hypoesthesia, smell disorder, abnormal dreams, disturbed coordination, seizures, disturbed attention, speech disorders, amnesia, anaphylaxis, allergic edema slash angioedema, hyperglycemia, hyperuricemia, emotional liability, depression, hallucination, and prothrombin time prolonged. Contraindications Moxifloxacin is contraindicated in patients with hypersensitivity to moxifloxacin or other quinolones and any components of this medication. Less than 18 years of age. Pregnancy and lactation. With history of tendon disease slash disorder related to quinolone treatment. With impaired liver function and in patients with transaminases greater than 5-fold ULN. With congenital or documented acquired QT prolongation. With electrolyte disturbances, particularly in uncorrected hypokalemia. With clinically relevant bradycardia. With clinically relevant heart failure with reduced left ventricular ejection fraction. With previous history of symptomatic arrhythmias. Receiving class IA, example quinidine, procainamide, or class 3, amiodaron, sotalol, antiarrhythmic agents or other drugs that prolong the QT interval. With rare hereditary problems of galactose intolerance, the lap lactase deficiency or glucose galactose malabsorption should not take this medicine. Warning precautions. Moxifloxacin should be used with caution in patients with ongoing proarrhythmic conditions, especially women and elderly patients, such as acute myocardial ischemia or QT prolongation as this may lead to an increased risk for ventricular arrhythmias and cardiac arrest. The magnitude of QT prolongation may increase with increasing concentrations of the drug. Therefore, the recommended dose should not be exceeded. If signs of cardiac arrhythmia occur during treatment with moxifloxacin, treatment should be stopped and an ECG should be performed. Cases of Bula skin reactions like Stevens-Johnson syndrome or toxic epidermal necrolysis have been reported with moxifloxacin. Patients should be advised to contact their doctor immediately prior to continuing treatment if skin and slash or mucosal reactions occur. Psychiatric reactions may occur even after the first administration of quinolones, including moxifloxacin. In very rare cases depression or psychotic reactions have progressed to suicidal thoughts and self-injurious behavior such as suicide attempts. In the event that the patient develops these reactions, moxifloxacin should be discontinued and appropriate measures instituted. Caution is recommended if moxifloxacin is to be used in psychotic patients or in patients with history of psychiatric disease. Quinolones have been shown to cause photosensitivity reactions in patients. However, studies have shown that moxifloxacin has a lower risk to induce photosensitivity. Nevertheless patients should be advised to avoid exposure to either UV irradiation or extensive and slash or strong sunlight during treatment with moxifloxacin. Due to adverse effects on the cartilage in juvenile animals the use of moxifloxacin in children and adolescents less than 18 years is contraindicated. As with all quinolones, moxifloxacin should be used with caution in patients with known or suspected CNS disorders or in the presence of other risk factors that may predispose to seizures or lower the threshold. Tendon inflammation and slash or rupture have been reported with quinolone antibiotics. Risk may be increased with concurrent corticosteroids, particularly in the elderly. Discontinue at first signs or symptoms of tendon pain. Use with caution in diabetes as glucose regulation may be altered. Patients with a family history of, or actual glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency are prone to hemolytic reactions when treated with quinolones. 
Therefore, moxifloxacin should be used with caution in these patients. Severe hypersensitivity reactions, including anaphylaxis, have occurred with quinolone therapy. If an allergic reaction occurs discontinue drug immediately. Quinolones should be used with caution as they may exacerbate myasthenia gravis. Peripheral neuropathy may rarely occur. Elderly patients with renal disorders should use moxifloxacin with caution if they are unable to maintain adequate fluid intake, because dehydration may increase the risk of renal failure. Liver function tests investigations should be performed in cases where indications of liver dysfunction occur. If vision becomes impaired or any effects on the eyes are experienced, an eye specialist should be consulted immediately. Drug interactions Moxifloxacin should be taken at least 4 hours before or 8 hours after antacids containing magnesium, calcium, or aluminium, as well as sucralfate, metal cations such as iron, and multivitamin preparations with zinc or didinosine. Medication that can reduce potassium levels should be used with caution in patients receiving moxifloxacin. Concomitant administration of charcoal with an oral dose of 400 mg moxifloxacin leads to a pronounced prevention of drug absorption and a reduced systemic availability of the drug by more than 80%. Therefore, the concomitant use of these two drugs is not recommended, except for overdose cases. The prothrombin time, international normalized ratio, INR, or other suitable anticoagulation tests should be closely monitored if a quinolone is administered concomitantly with warfarin or its derivatives. Concomitant administration of NSAIDs with quinolones may increase the risks of CNS stimulation and convulsions. Overdosage No specific countermeasures after accidental overdose are recommended. In the event of overdose, symptomatic treatment should be implemented. ECG monitoring should be undertaken, because of the possibility of QT interval prolongation. Concomitant administration of charcoal with a dose of 400 mg oral moxifloxacin will reduce systemic availability of the drug by more than 80%. The use of charcoal early during absorption may be useful to prevent excessive increase in the systemic exposure to moxifloxacin in cases of oral overdose. Storage Store at 25 degrees Celsius, excursions permitted between 15 degrees Celsius, 30 degrees Celsius. Protect from sunlight and moisture. The expiration date refers to the product correctly stored at the required conditions. Thank you to watch my video. Please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you again.